So we're going to St. Joe's Hospital to see the new posters that are up that I'm part of the campaign for. <clears throat> so excited. <laughs> I found out, I think, what was it, yesterday, the day before? Uh, yesterday, yesterday. I found out from a friend that they were, uh, they were up. <laughs> it looks huge, right? Yeah, it's probably like three feet by like two. But I'm interested to see if on the parking garage, if that huge, huge, like <laughs> many meters by many meters is up. Two. <laughs> I wonder. So yeah. we're going to see, we're going to check, I think that first. So I really want to see that first. And then go in the hospital and look for the posters. And then maybe find Laura and say hi. So in case you're new here or you didn't know, you didn't watch the video of the, the hospital experience. Um, in 2020, I got this tattoo and then something went wrong. Reputable artist, don't worry, but something went wrong. And so we, I, why are you saying me? I, I was admitted for about a week and I had sepsis and toxic shock from the tattoo. Um, hi doggy. <laughs> and um, so the second, the first night in, I was in emergency, like the big room with all the beds where they had, before they placed anyone in a room. So then the second night I was in the room and that was when I became septic. So that night, um, my nurse Dom, who just started his shift, he noticed and professionally like, professional panic set over him, you know? And he did absolutely everything to help me and the, keep it under control and to fix it and it was very close to death actually that day um even my family doctor was when I saw her a week later she's like do you know how, how bad that was and how close you were I'm like yeah I kind of had a feeling so um yeah so then I wanted to surprise Dom with they have a circle donation um program award thing so you can donate and then have whoever you want to honor, you can, their name will go on the circle wall, I think it's called, donation something, wall. And so his name's up there and I also wanted to surprise him. So my mom, husband and I went um, one day, a little, more than a year ago, I think last May. Um, and we surprised him, he didn't know we were there, but he knew he was being honored by Laura for the, his, his name on the wall and he got a, a few little things from the hospital which was really cool um, but then I also had an award made for him like world's best nurse or I think I think that's what it was <laughs> or something mm -hmm. and my my hero or I, I said put something like that anyways mm -hmm. so he was very touched by that and there's that whole video which I'll put in the description if you want to watch it and so that's pretty much the story the short version of it <laughs> and yeah so we're gonna that's the, and then oh yeah then they asked me to be part of like have my story they wanted me to write my story so we did that together Laura and I um, and then we put it in the newsletter that would go to people and I forget the number how much that campaign raised but it was mm -hmm. I think close to a hundred thousand I think this is something like 70, 70 I, I think. think so yeah. I'm not sure about the number but yeah so it was it was it's, it's just an honor to do this for them. And so it raised a lot of money for the hospital. I'm a monthly donor too. And then I was asked to do a photo shoot with Dom, the nurse, and we did that. And now there's posters all over the hospital with a little bit of my story and pictures of Dom and I, so. Okay, ready? We're gonna look at the, 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 the big posters here. There's two. No, no, not yet. Oh, what's this? No. Nope. Okay. These are the ones I mean. The huge posters. You gotta keep walking. It's not this one. No, not this one either. Oh well. Maybe they're gonna change it soon. Oh, oh. this one. I thought there was more on the other side. No. Just this. We can check, but I, I always see these, these ones. Yeah. That's it, but here's St. Joe's. Okay. 
Maybe soon. I'll keep checking. Okay. We have a run <laughs> that goes uh, around here somewhere. So we'll check. Not yet. Okay. So I think maybe one of these windows here. Oh, one of those. <coughs> oh, sorry. One of those there. Oh, I think it was that floor. That's where I was when. Oh, I just explained it. Thank you. That was, that, that's where I was when. Uh, like the first three, two or three days from staying here is the, I think it's called the PUI unit, Patient Center Investigation, because you had to get your COVID test back negative before you could go anywhere else in the hospital, because this was like in the big part of COVID. So around there, one of those windows. Actually, no, no, it was the one right on the end. Let me just point here. Maybe like that one? It was this one, this one. That was my room. That is where. That is where I became septic. And that's where Dom came in to save me. Mm. I'm so grateful. Um, yeah, that's the room where it all went down. And I didn't even tell my mom or husband until a couple days later because I was so terrified and I didn't want to worry them. Because I know that, because a guy in the same floor, like same unit as me, he got septic, se sepsis too. And he, I think died that night and his daughter was like gonna give birth any day and she was just there because during COVID I don't think there were allowed any visitors except if it was really bad so it was really bad for him so she had just left and then they had to call back because they realized that he was gonna die and so that's really sad and so I'm, it just shows how sepsis is so bad and, and how like I felt so sick so sick but Dom and then the, he called up the ICU and two people from the ICU came and, and helped me and it was amazing. So that's the room, that's it. Cause I know it was at the end of the hall and then like the staff room I think was right in there where the, the bricks are, but wow. It's just, it's incredible. I'm just so glad to be here still. And um, thank you Dom again <laughs> and everyone. E everyone here is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I just, I love this hospital so much. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom and my brother actually came and right in like that grassy area right there is where they, I think they parked over there and they walked and then they were like waving outside the window and dancing and stuff. It was really cute. Um, <laughs> because nobody would love like come up and see me, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, that's how it was. But it, that, that was really cool of them to do that. And um, yeah. Um, we're gonna go to the hospital now and look for the posters. Okay. I literally just saw it and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Here's the first one. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my goodness. His name used to be here, but I guess uh. they change it every year. So 2022, this is right there. Uh. I need to talk to the hospital about that because there's something wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Wow. <laughs> there's another one. So my mom lives near the hospital, so we are going. I'm gonna go and surprise her upstairs. So let's see how it goes. What are you doing here? <laughs> Hi! Oh 